Can lower cost 3D scanners benefit you? Hi, I'm Leslie Langnau, Managing Editor at Design World Magazine. Thanks in part to 3D printers, you now have a wider range of choices for 3D scanning, ranging from small handheld units like the Sense here for consumers, all the way to professional metrology based units. According to forecasters, the market for 3D scanning should double from about 2.06 billion in 2013 to 4.08 billion by 2018. We recently published a story on the newer developments in 3D scanning titled Can Lower Cost Scanners Benefit You? and it's on our website, Make Parts Fast. Reverse engineering by scanning an object to create a point cloud is one way to begin the CAD design process. Depending on your accuracy requirements, the smaller 3D scanners can be one of the tools in your design toolbox. These smaller scanners do not match the accuracy of the metrology units, like those from Hexagon Metrology and Creoform. The Sense, for example, has an accuracy of 1 mm, while the WLS QFlash from Hexagon has an accuracy of 0.1 mm. But they can speed up the process by creating a rough point cloud that is sent to a CAD program for the preliminary design. The key deciding factors for selecting any scanner are accuracy, part size, setup requirements, and needs for robustness of the application. In addition to 3D scanners like the Sense, other lower cost scanners include MakerBot Digitizer. The prices for some of these systems range from $400 to $1,400. There are also some middle range 3D scanners such as the Artec and Next Engine units which are available for around $10,000 or less, making it affordable for most engineers to have one at their desk. A couple of other trends with 3D scanners include the move to easier to use software that also automates more scanning parameters, making these devices easier for just about anyone to use. And that's the report on small 3D scanners. Thank you for watching.